I don't know where I'm going yet, but I'm on my way. Just go where the wind will blow me, yeah. Well, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, hey, hey, hey. I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, hey, hey, hey. Luca's first taste of Greek water, followed by Lucy. Silker on <clears throat> wheel watch. Listening to podcasts. For Listening the, to podcasts. Trying for the third or fourth time to listen to it. Whipping the wheel. It's tough on the fingers. Being supervised by none other than the Lucy dog. week and the following week are um, 
hopefully pretty big weeks for us now we're uh, we've got the, the end of the the line is in sight for our lockdown and, and our time in Greece we've still got some huge issues um, our visa situation like quite a few other um, yachties in Greece uh, is in some serious trouble you know while we were locked down we couldn't um, access any of the official offices because they were closed and now we're being accused of not sorting out our visas now we've, we have tried as hard as we possibly can to do this but um, and, and, and it, as as everybody else the other um, yachties they're all have expired visas or nearing expiration with no um, no potential of getting them extended but um, we're going to the police station today to try and sort that out the New Zealand consulate uh, George he's going to uh, do a Skype call if necessary to try and help sort it out while we're there um, we're doing our very best but meantime some yacht work needs to happen. We need to have our water maker uh, finish the installation of that and also another huge ongoing issue which is our forward water tank that um, has a massive leak. <clears throat> I think it needs replacing but we will see what the ex-owners guys say about it. It seems to fill only to 70% which indicates there's a crack at about the 70% mark and uh, yeah it's down here we'll see how that turns out so our water tank is here and as you can see this is a one piece fiberglass top on top which is our bed which is on top of the water tank. So the water tank was installed and the fiberglass top was fiberglassed on top afterwards. So getting that big, huge water tank out is going to be a mission, I think. I don't know how they're going to do it. Maybe we'll leave a camera running to see them do it. <laughs> so here we have a... Um, a little issue with the sea seacock so we're um, getting it replaced and hopefully it's in good nick but it's there it is there it's a bit of a mess it's the waste out seacock that's been leaking a little bit so we want to get that sorted pretty smartly So where are we off to? The supermarket. The supermarket. Great islands to some Mummy's and got swim. a hand cart there for the heavy stuff. And this is it. This is our weekly exercise on foot. About a half a k away to the supermarket. My teenager was not so enthusiastic on coming and helping. So just the three of us and Luke is babysitting Lucy.
them. So showing our poly tenders a little bit of love and cleaning them up and Lucy's in the action as well. Stott and Jonathan told us about them, they take lots of dido, so they must have some magic fiber in them, so we don't actually need to use nasty chemicals to, to get most of the dido, it's just <coughs> eco dishwash and put it in the sponge. And magically it takes most of the stains off. And if you buy them in a supermarket, they are just really cheap, if you buy them in a marine shop you buy a fortune. All right, so we haven't even sailed yet, and you now we're doing musical rooms. Um, Nina's decided that her lovely big sunny room is not what she wants, so she's going to have the guest room apparently. I'll show you the guest room, you haven't seen it. And here she is on the top bunk with the lee cloth, and this is the cloth that stops you falling out of bed when you're sailing. And this is the bottom bunk. And Nina thinks this room is going to be magic. Unfortunately, it doesn't have sea views, it just has sky views. And um, that's about it for that. So, if you're thinking of coming on board Polly, we'll show you where you'll be sleeping soon when she's tidied out her other room. This will be your room, which is Nina's old room. I reckon it's a lovely room. It's got a really good sized double bed, even wider. It's actually, it's actually huge. My storage, port light there, port light there, hatch there, and one that goes out that way. Right, so we've been invited down the pier across the way to Sailing Vessel Sunday with Jot, Jot and Jonathan. Dot and Jonathan for a pizza and some drinks. So these are the couple that are in the same predicament as us. They bought a nice new yacht and they can't leave either. So we've become pretty good buddies with them and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sundays on Sunday. So we're having a Sunday on a Sunday. Sunday visit on a Sunday yacht. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, oh, wow. he's looking flash. Mr. Baldy. Oh yeah, the haircut. Oh my yes, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it's very liberating. So you this know is... how to make some gin and tonic? I've had my hat on because I get cold. Oh, very nice. Portugalada. Portugalada. So this is our <clears throat> Greek translator. Fresh tomato sauce. <laughs> cheese. Oh, 
provolone provolone cheese that's italian i think and trov oh creamed mushrooms oh, well that's not lucky <laughs> what are they going to put that in the end wreck at all <laughs> that should cheer you up have a sip what do you reckon Good, thank you. We'll make a yachty of you. Chin yet. chin. Chin chin. Chin chin. Brompton, chin. Chin. look. Brompton. If you want to pull it, you make this wow. way. Wow. This way. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. 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 that's that amazing. Woohoo! Oh. Oh. It just falls. And these roads are to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh how cute is that? Clever.